Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my train room. If you were watching a few weeks ago, you may recall that I assembled a pair of Central Valley flat car kits. Now let's put one of them to work by building a suitable load for it. For this project, I am using this 32nd inch Midwest basswood sheet. It's the thinnest I could find. Unfortunately, this is quite a bit thicker than a 32nd of an inch. I put a caliper on it because it looked too thick. It's approximately 40 thousandths of an inch instead of 32. It scales out at exactly three and a half inches. I was hoping for something about half that thickness. Unfortunately, I don't know where to get 64th inch passwood. Anyway, I'm gonna use this and see what it looks like. I have this balsa stripper, which I'm gonna to use to turn it into thin strips. I don't know how much of the stuff I need. This one plank probably isn't enough, so I bought a whole pack. That's got to be enough. And if I were to use already pre-cut strips, it would cost a fortune. And I've got a pad to rest on here so that the blade just touches that. That way my thin basswood can be properly supported in the area that's being trimmed. I need eight bunks of lumber for the base of the load. So I'm assembling the sides. I decided that my planks are gonna range from 10 to 16 feet in length. So I created a little bit of a scale rule on there on my cutting board. I need eight sides. I've got three of them assembled now. I'm just cutting some more planks. And then what I do is I use white glue. I'm assembling them into groups of three and four for now. And then ultimately I decided that my bunks are gonna be 10 planks high because that allows me to get a good height of load by the time I've finished. I might come back and add an extra tier, but for the time being, 10 planks seems like a good target to aim for. Well, now I have all my sides assembled. Before I can continue, I need to know exactly how wide the load needs to be. So I've got some sticks stuffed in the stake pockets. And if I get my ruler, the load has to be exactly 33 millimeters wide. So what I'll do now is stand two of these up side by side and figure out what I need to get them the right distance apart. Now I may decide to split them and put some verticals in the middle as is fairly common or I might just go all the way across. It'll depend on what fits best. What I've done now is drawn my plank widths on a piece of the same basswood as I was using for the sides. This is the right width to go between the two pairs of sides. And now what I'm gonna do is cut down all these plank lines. Once I separate them, I now have two ends. I'm doing them a lot shorter I'll just fill in the other end with something fairly flat. It will be difficult to see it anyway. I can save a lot of wood that way. And also I'll then have the middle hollow to be able to add weight if I want to. And this particular load I don't need to because the car is fairly heavy. All right. Now I just need 40 of those. So now what I have to do is stack them in piles of nine and then once I've got these between the sides the top layer just gets put on with whole boards so I'm going to go away and do that and I'll be right back 
Well, I've got most of the components put together. There's the eight sides, and then there's the four ends for the for the various bunks. They're going to be stacked too high, and these balsa blocks are are still oversized, but they're going to be put in the uh, in the other end. And what I've got to do is sand it down a little bit because where there are slight inaccuracies in the cutting it's a little bit too wide now so I will carefully reduce it to the right width I had a slight change of plan originally I was only going to stack these 9 high I decided to go 10 high that way I just put a whole layer on the top so the load is going to be a little bit taller than it was but that's okay it still works gaps between the planks got closed up here so I'm just going to score them again and for the most part they'll be hidden but just in case a little bit sticks out the end and then what I've got to do is add one more layer of planks to the top so let me go away and do that and I'll be right back okay I have now added these stakes in the stake pockets and I'm going to use some scale 4x4 to go across. At the moment the stakes are all on the long side. It's a lot easier to trim them off later. But the cross pieces, they all need to be around about 36 millimeters. Well, the load is almost assembled now. I've still got to build the the top bunk that goes up here. Because on this one the boards are going to be staggered at both ends, I only want half as much variation in length. And I figured there's nothing to be gained by leaving it hollow. So I'm just going to make these panels full width instead of building the sides as separate assemblies. Well, I've assembled my top bunk. I didn't use all the wood because it turned out it was a little bit too high. As it happens, the original 10 layer lower bunks would have been better than 11, but that's all right. I'll go in there, a little bit of uh, trimming.
So the lumber load is now complete. It wasn't as quick a project as I first thought. Originally I planned it before I even built the flat car to put it on. I ordered some 32nd inch sheet basswood from eBay and it never arrived. I got a refund though, so not to worry. The second time round, I ordered from a different eBay seller who advertised the SKU number and pricing information for a pack of 15 sheets of Midwest Lumber 32nd inch basswood and then when I purchased it they sent me a single plank. I'm not going to say who that seller was because I don't want to risk getting sued by someone calling himself the Candid Cow. So anyway, it was third time lucky and I did eventually manage to get an entire pack of 32nd inch sheet basswood. 64th inch would have been better because the planks were a little thicker than 32nd inch and they scale out to nearly 4 inches thick. I was hoping for much thinner lumber. But anyway, on the plus side, the bigger planks meant fewer pieces needed. Even so, it still took me almost the entire day to assemble the load. I'm happy with the way it turned out, and I hope you enjoyed watching. So I'll say goodbye for now, and hope to see you again next week. Thanks for watching.